black jobs. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, on a stage in front of the nation, live streamed, someone said they, being undocumented immigrants in the context of the conversation and question that was asked, are taking black jobs. And it begs the question as to what are black jobs? I got a lot of messages asking me about my take on this and what I interpreted that to mean and what that says about certain presidential candidates. And I think we all know, without a doubt, that that statement of they are taking black jobs was undertoned and layered with so much racism and classism that it's kind of difficult to even unpack the whole thing in its totality. And I wanted to say two things. One, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. When racism spews and flows from the mouth of someone, understand that that is an ideology in which they subscribe to. So believe them when they say it and recognize what that means and what that indicates about them as a person. And two, I wanted to talk about what the goal of that statement was. And a lot of people aren't talking about this piece, and I think is arguably one of the most important pieces as to what that goal was in saying this statement. What was the tactic and the methodology behind saying that statement? And I'll tell you what it was. It was division. The goal was to divide, to make black people and Hispanic people become at odds with each other. And see, you have to understand how the enemy works in order to see how this goal was being used through this statement. This statement was made by someone who understands the power in the masses and understands that when people of color and minority groups actually come together, they are no longer the minority and they create a critical mass that can actually positively change and impact the system. So the goal of the true enemy is to convince people that they are each other's enemies to fight each other and distract from fighting their true enemy. We saw this happen with the affirmative action case as well. What did we notice? There was a lot of rhetoric and a lot of people saying, oh my goodness, Asian students are having their spots taken by black and brown students. What did this do? What type of division did this cause? We saw it. You had white and Asian students on this side and black and brown students on this side because they understood that they had to convince a minority group, the Asian students, to become enemies with other minority groups, black and brown students, in order to break the foundation of their minority power. Because what people don't understand is, together as minorities, we have the majority of power in this country. So they had to convince, and by they I'm referring to white supremacists, yes, had to convince minority groups to become at odds with one another. Because only divided will we fall. United, we not only stand, but we rise. So they had to convince people, specifically people of color, that they were each other's enemies so that you can break the foundation of the power that comes from the unification of people of color. And how does that apply to this statement? Well, I'll tell you. The whole point of that statement was trying to convince black people that their jobs are being taken away or being stolen from Latino and Hispanic people. But the thing is, we're too intelligent to fall for that, for those lies. We're too intelligent to fall for such blatant racism, for such blatant misinformation, for such blatant lies, we're too intelligent for it. But the fact that the person who said it doesn't recognize how intelligent we are as a people to not be persuaded by fallacy is yet again demonstrative of what this person thinks about us and about people of color. The enemy thrives on division rooted in misinformation and the best weapon against that and against the enemy is that of truth. So I wanted to say that first because the reasoning that statement was made and the reason behind it even coming out of his mouth in the first place, albeit racism, was also aimed at dividing minority groups, just like we saw with the affirmative action cases that were actually spearheaded by white supremacists they were aimed at dividing minority groups and convincing Asian American students that their enemy was 
black and Hispanic students when it's not true. So I wanted to talk about that first, the goal of that statement. And now I'm going to return back to the statement itself and ask again, what are black jobs? And for those of you who know me, you know that I try to make this page free of divisive rhetoric and division and keep everything rooted in compassion and humanity, but I'm not going to allow people to continue to propagate their bigotry and racism. I'm not going to do it. Because see, what happens is when you make comments like black jobs and then you double down on them, it shows who you are as a person. It is exposing your bigotry and the bigotry of those who follow you. It is. It is. Because what you meant by black jobs, we understand that it was rooted in racism, classism, and bigotry. We know that. We know that. We know that. That's what you meant. That's what you were using the term black jobs to describe. But I want, us to, I want to do something different right now. Because I also am about changing the narrative and encouraging my people. So when I think about black jobs, I think about the lawyers and judges, the black lawyers and black judges who are going to their black jobs. I think about the black physicians, the black cardiologists, the black neurosurgeon, the black cardiothoracic surgeon, who's going to their black jobs. I think about the black architects, the black artists, the black inventors, the black musicians, the black creators who are going to their black jobs. I think about the black CEOs, the black entrepreneurs, the black business owners who are going to their black jobs. I think about the black vice presidents and the black president who went to their black job. So allow me to dismantle the racist stereotypes, stigmas, and generalizations that you've created to try and relegate us to some class of job to remind you that we do it all. We are the foundation of innovation the brilliance we are the ones who occupy every space and continue to rise and thrive in all spaces in all jobs in all careers don't let them plan your face do not allow them to plan your face we know why it was said, and now we know the goal in which it was trying to achieve. Don't let it. Don't let it.